Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have another full self-driving test we're gonna do here. This has uh, been getting all the rage in the news lately. For those of you new to the channel, this is my 2021 Tesla Model S long range version. And we have full self-driving uh, fully installed in this car. We're running 12.3.6. Uh, I know everyone's waiting to see the 12.4 uh, version, which is supposed to be a massive increase in uh, capability. Now turn um, left onto North P Street. So it's it's pretty exciting uh, right now, especially to see what Tesla is doing with full self-driving. Now this version of 12.3.6 is really good. It's the best I've ever seen it. Uh, it acts very natural like a human being. Uh, it will stop and, and come to a slower stop before it hits uh, like the white line at an intersection. It understands uh, red lights, yellow lights, green lights really well. Uh, it understands the car in front of us. Uh, the fact that it's got its turn signal on as well. Um, it's very good with pedestrians, bikes, uh, even hazardous cones on the street, um, detours, uh, turning naturally. It, it does roundabouts really well. It also will do U-turns really good. Uh, so, so far I've been very impressed with it. Um, the car just feet, drives to Railroad Avenue. really natural like a human being. Uh, for those of you that understand AI and the yeah, way this right is working, Avenue. it's it's pretty amazing how advanced uh, Tesla is with their you know 12.0 version and all these variations after that. But essentially, what's doing it is uh, there's a multiple cameras around the car, and in real time, there is actually a supercomputer in the car where it will process. Uh, everything that it sees out of the cameras and makes seconds, millisecond decisions about what to do. Um, and, and basically all the Tesla cars in the world, um, or specifically more in these areas that I'm driving on right now, are constantly training the AI of how to deal with the roads and how to deal with a red light and how to deal with stopping and how to deal with all the different uh, types of occasions or situations that occur. So uh, if you think about it, if it's trained millions and millions and billions of different types of situations or even this one particular intersection, it's trained on this millions of times then it knows exactly what to do in every situation because it probably, from probability, encountered that already in one of those million different scenarios. So when you get into the millions, it's, it's pretty safe to say that it does encounter almost every different type of situation. And, um, and it does have a lot of safeguards as well um, most of the types of processing, there's backup um, that, that occurs, or in the case of uh, you know Tesla full self-driving right now, humans can take over uh, right away. So it does a really, really good job of that. Um, I am very excited about getting 12.4, uh, uh, which I should be getting any day now. So I'll be very excited about that. That's supposed to um, to be five to ten times less uh, that I have to interact with it or um, break full self driving at any point. Uh, there's a there's a number of um, analysts online. You can do some more searching on YouTube videos for Tesla full self driving, but um, you'll see where Tesla fits against. A lot of the other uh, uh, developers that are developing full self-driving, uh, you guys may have heard of Wemo. Wemo is uh, take has one of the away. highest training, full capabilities. The problem with Wemo is that um, it uses very expensive hardware, 
like LIDAR and things like that. Um, and, um, and it will reach a ceiling in its capability, whereas uh, Tesla's full self-driving that's you know mostly built on all AI and no just seeing, to take the seeing things uh, through the camera, uh, there's really no ceiling. Uh, it's in, it's, it, it'll continue to learn and it will continue to get more accurate and better. Um, so it's pretty exciting to see that and um, and soon to be probably within the next three years or so gonna probably be the most advanced uh, self-driving uh, capability out there um, it will surpass Remo and, and a number of other uh, providers that have been doing really well so the car is doing great as you can see on this drive um, 500 feet no problems at all it is a, uh, a Wednesday at around 3 uh, just about 11 minutes after three today, but yeah, traffic's not no too bad yet, to Isabel uh, but no problems at all. So we're gonna be uh, driving to my neighborhood. Uh, for those of you that have gone along on rides with me before, you probably know, um, and you may see this route before, I've taken this route before. I just got the car cleaned actually, and um, we're gonna be uh, actually going through uh, the lease return for this car. This car's lease return is in about uh, about five weeks from now. So we do have one more uh, road trip planned um, in this car. We're gonna be headed up to um, Oregon for a few days. Um, but beyond that, um, we're gonna be uh, trading this car back in. And uh, we're still discussing what we're gonna get next. So it will be uh, an EV. I will let you know exactly what it is and probably take you guys all through the configurator so look for that video coming up here uh, probably within the next uh, six weeks or so now we don't need to uh, get a new one right after this car um, so we're actually trying to decide do we turn my wife's car in also and upgrade her for those of you that watch the channel you probably know she's in a, uh, a um, 2016 uh, Model X. It's about eight years old now. It's got about 85,000 miles on it. It's just getting a little old and um, the battery will only go about 220 miles on a full charge and um, it's just starting to wear down a little bit and I, I do get a little nervous that I'm going to encounter a big expense. Um, but I'll tell you overall that car has been a champ. I haven't had any problems at all with that car uh, except for replacing the tires. So it's been, a, it's been a great car. But anyways, that's gonna open up the opportunity to get a new car. I think what we're planning now is we're gonna return this in the lease return. And I'm actually gonna video shoot uh, the lease return so you guys can look for that. You can see it's slowed down here, got right in the right lane. Uh, it's gonna creep now up to right this to red light and then it will take a right here. But overall, this full self-driving is just been pretty darn impressive. Kind of slows down. Now it's gonna creep forward. It's gonna to look to the left, nothing there. So now it's gonna go ahead. And then uh, we're gonna be turning into the neighborhood. Turn Actually, we don't wanna to turn into this. I'm gonna go ahead and interject with it. Um, it's the only time I've had to interject with it. Um, whoops, hit the wrong button there. Uh, that's the problem with the yoke is you hit the wrong button sometimes, but anyways, we're going to go in the main gate here, the Ruby um, and uh, that gate, just so you guys know, a lot of times it's in Google Maps and everything and the routing maps, but that is really for deliveries in the neighborhood. So uh, it doesn't have an automatic gate that goes up automatically for any of the residents like myself. Um, but you know, in the older versions of <clears throat> full self-driving, it always had a problem with the gates here. but this newer version whenever i've gone in the main gate here in my neighborhood it's always worked really well so you can see uh it's also looking after that car there determined it's okay so it's going to creep forward so yeah so you can see it is slowing Ruby down for the gate to stay on east ruby hill drive and it is looking for um you know if there's a car on the left or the right so it does a really good job of that i'm just like super super impressed with 12.3.6 uh, so 
Anyways, uh, that's kind of the end of the short little video. A couple of announcements for you guys on what's coming up next and a quick little uh, demo tutorial of the full self-driving. So we are going to end the video now. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like the video, and I'll look forward to the next set of videos. You're gonna see a lease return, another road trip, a few more highlights, and then eventually we're gonna work ourselves into one of the EV configurators. So you'll see what we're ordering next. Uh, if you have any suggestions, put it in the comments below. Of course, we're looking at Tesla also. It's not out of the question, but there's so many new options available. I'm gonna be looking at a few other options as well. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.